Hello, children. Let's get my world loading back up again. So I have done two things. If you notice, the background is different. I have installed a texture pack. It is called um, the Painterly Pack, and you can tell the wood is uh, is a different texture, and the crafting table and the chest and the glass is much improved. You can actually see out of it now instead of before where there's like all these streaks on the glass. Um, cobblestone is way better. And the water, oh my gosh, the water is so beautiful, isn't that? Let me check it out. So anyway, I've got the painterly pack installed and, and I had to do some patching to get the water to be different and to work. And uh, I have no idea what I was doing, but there's instructions on the internet for it, so I'm sure you guys can find it too if you like it. The other thing I did was I installed this, uh, it used to be called occluded lighting or, or better lights. It's, I think it's now just called better light. And what that did is twofold. Um, it puts grass color on the edge of dirt as well. Like, so you see how the dirt has kind of turned a little, uh, a little green. And it's like all in one patch together. It does that on when there's a smooth hill surface. When it's a steep face, it'll stay dirt colored like this. But the other thing that that does is the better lighting is it, it does what used to be called occluded lighting. It makes shadows and everything softer. Instead of those harsh transitions where you can see that there'd be like a line or shadow across this brick, now it's everything is smooth and it makes it look well it makes it look high def like it's actually real I mean look at this this looks super good it's it's like high def even though the textures are still 16 by 16 so it is quite a beautiful uh, modification to do to the game I love it, it makes it so much prettier uh, what else have I done oh it's getting sundown so let me show you real quick I modified the house a little bit I uh, I made it taller and I put up a second story. Let me come up here and show you this. So this is my new monster cave. And as you can see, it's got an area to spawn monsters and it gets very dark in here. That's important because they will hopefully come out here and, and wander. Um, although I haven't seen any do it yet. But they should hopefully come out here and wander into the water, which will carry them like so, into my trap. Now this trap was made by digging the pit uh, too deep, like this, and you put water, and then you, let's see, you dig it about this deep into the ground. As you can see, it's uh, several bricks tall. You can see the shape of it. And what this does is water flows from, you put the brick up there of, of water, and it water flows outward, <clears throat> and it falls down this way, and then you can build this little section down here so animals get pulled under here. And if you build this with glass, like I am trying really hard to get out right now. See how slowly I'm coming up? So animals get pulled down and then they drowned. Same thing for zombies and skeletons and even spiders. Mine actually kills spiders. So uh, it's a neat design. And I built another one over here, another monster cave. And the one over here goes up. And it took a while to get grass up here, but I should get some some uh, animals spawning up here. And I've seen pigs all the time spawn during the day, and they fall down in here and get pulled down through uh, through my trap on the other side. And of course, I just made this section because I ha kept having creepers uh, stand there at the window and stare at me. It was creepy. Other things I did, uh, this tunnel used to stop here and go out to my uh, thing. I removed the ceiling up there. I started mining down here because I needed more coal, and I just made a, like, just a tunnel going downward, nothing special. Put stairs in it. And lastly, I made, uh, expanded this room out a couple squares and made steps here so you can either go out or come down here. And this is where my, my traps come to. So when things die, the uh, the the drop that whatever they you know drop when they die just comes down here and it sits there and you just come in and pick it up. And then I made this tunnel out this direction, uh, treasure room. Obviously, I have no treasure. I spent everything I have making these. I ran myself out of cobblestone and wood several times. And I dug out some sand and dirt in that area. So I've just been working on expanding the fortress and making it a little bit nicer of a place. Uh, 
I think I'm 15 or 16 days into the game, although I did spend a couple nights underground digging out coal and cobblestone, so I'm not quite sure uh, how accurate that number is. And then stairs to my roof, which is bright enough that nothing spawns up here, and you can come up here. And the important part is this used to be the edge right here, and I extended it out one so that whenever I get spiders coming along... Oh. Ah. Whenever I get spiders coming along, they uh, they can no longer get on top of my house. Because before, they would just get on top of my house and make these creepy sounds all night. And then, even though it was, like, bright out in the daytime... Ah. Even though it was bright out in the daytime, I would, like, walk out my front door, and they would immediately land on me and attack me. And it was really annoying. So, I've solved the spider problem by putting a lip, uh, an overhang on the edge of the house. And, uh... I can come up here and monitor things. Oh, that was the other thing. That is the new zombies. The painterly pack changes the textures on zombies as well. Do you hear that? The sound of a skeleton dying? That was in my trap. And see? He dropped arrows. My trap has been quite successful. I've uh, killed a lot of piggies, and let's, uh, let's go up here. I made 40 arrows so far. I've made 40 arrows, and yet I still have 53 feathers. And I've been collecting a whole bunch of bone and sulfur and stuff. I don't get cows in there very often, but everything else seems to be pretty stupid. Uh, sheep, obviously, when they die in the water, they do not drop wool. So that's the one thing you'll still have to go and get manually. But the trap is very successful. Feel free to copy my design. Make one if you like. See, skeleton got... I knocked him down in there. Alright, let me show you. And there he is. So, feel free to copy the design. Uh, I, I can't really show you a better diagram of how I built it. Just rewind in the video and, s and like count how many squares you could see there and everything, and it'll pretty much set it up. Like, you build the glass wall at the edge of your trap, um, and there's two tall, and then you skip a space underneath the glass, and you come forward one uh, for the cobblestone. And that kind of, the, the current pulls them underneath right up next to the cobblestone, under the glass, and it's like super hard for them to get out, and they just drown kills uh, because it's because it's two bricks deep that the trap is it actually kills spiders as well so uh, with that I think I'm gonna cut off this video and the next one we are going to head out that direction Ooh. you can see a sheep just got itself pulled in gotta be careful about creepers spawning over there Ooh. Bye bye sheep. But it's not it's not an amazing farm rate. Like you can look up other monster traps that have like tons of water channels that that farm hundreds of and uh, thousands of items per hour. This is not that good. Uh, this is only a handful, or, you know, five to ten items per night. But it's more than I was getting anyway. And I can still go out in the morning and fight off the last ones, but just before sunrise. So I'll cut off the video here, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. That will be me finally going out and doing some exploring. I'm going to make some new torches and head out and explore that cave over there, that far away cave. When I got near it um, several videos ago, I heard that, that sound, which meant that there was a, an area of pitch black nearby. And the pitch black nearby is good odds that there's a monster spawner in that cave. Uh, you got to have a 3x3, three three, and I think 3 tall, so a 3x3x3. Three by three by three area of pitch black. Usually that means it's a pretty big cave. So, uh, stay tuned. Maybe we'll get some more creeper death.